Greetings. This is a Synology DS218J NAS or Network Attached Storage Device. It's about three years old and it's now developed an odd fault with a simple fix. I'm not talking about the one where it won't leave its drives alone and spin them down unless you force it to shut down when idle. This is a fault where it forgets the clock and doesn't automatically update it when it's configured to. There are a few symptoms that indicate your NAS is having problems. The easiest to spot is when creating new folders on it. You'll find Windows displays any new folders with no date or timestamp. If you access the NAS's web interface, you'll find more issues. The package center, where you can install extra applications. That comes up with a connection failed message. The DSM upgrade screen, where you can update the, the disk station management software. That's also got a connection failed error. The regional options page shows where the problem lies. Even though it's supposed to synchronize with an NTP server, it's not bothering to. It's had a recent upgrade to the new 7.0 version of DSM, which may have introduced this bug, I don't know. But that's only for keeping the time in sync. Why is it forgetting the clock every time it shuts down? Well, there's a lithium battery inside here, and after three years, it's gone flat. Whereas PCs tend to have a CR2032 lithium battery, this NAS and several other Synology NASs use a tiny CR1220 with only a sixth of the capacity of a 2032. So I've ordered a replacement battery for just over two quid. This box arrived today, and that is all that was in it. Fortunately, it's not too difficult to get at the battery in here. Let's do it. Two screws and the side cover on that side can now be removed. This is how you normally access the hard disks. Four more screws in each corner. And now you can actually remove the back half of the case. It is plugged in, so you've got to be careful with it. If you flip it over this way, there's the battery. Now the battery holder in this is a bit of a sod to get the battery out of. It doesn't really want to let go. So the easiest way I've found is with a pair of needle nose pliers. If you put it in and twist it, the battery, you can get it to pop free like that. And that's definitely flat. Put the new battery in with the writing uppermost and put the whole thing back together. Power up the NAS, access the web interface and synchronize the clock one last time. Go to a different page and then come back again to confirm that the time is correct. You'll now find that if you power the NAS off and then back on later on, it'll remember that it's not 1970 anymore. I hope someone finds this useful. Thanks for watching.